What's going on guys, welcome to another video. I just wanted to start today's video by saying thank you for all the support on my channel so far. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content on the channel and if you are please subscribe as it helps me out a lot. Alright so let's get on with today's video. So it has come to my attention that many of you guys have questions regarding the TradingView app on the iPad. So I thought in today's video I'd run you guys through all the different areas of the app. Okay so the first thing you'll see when you open the TradingView app is your watch list. As I'm sure you will know, your watch list is simply a list of all the assets which you trade. When you first download the app, you'll be given the default list of tradable assets. However, you can of course edit the watch list to your liking. For example, I'm a currency trader, so any assets other than currency pairs are irrelevant to me. The only other assets that I might look at are Bitcoin or the S&P 500 and FTSE 100. So what I can do is simply get rid of all the assets which I don't require and to do this, I simply hold down on the assets which I want to get rid of and press remove. So for example, if I want to get rid of Lloyds, I simply hold and click remove. Barclays. And yeah, you get the point. So now that I've gotten rid of all the assets which I don't want, the next step would be to add the assets which I do want in my list. So let's say I wanted to add the following pairs, USD, Swiss Franc, Swiss Franc, Japan, and Aussie Dollar Japan, and Gold. All I simply do is tap the plus sign in the top left, and this will allow me to search for all the assets which I want to add. So let's add some pairs. So as we can see, the pairs which I want to add have been added to my watch list. So now, if we look on the right hand side of the screen, we can see that we are presented with some information about the assets in our watch list. But we aren't interested in, in this information, we want to see the chart for the asset. There's two ways we can navigate to the chart. The first way is to simply tap the launch full chart view. And the second is we can tap the chart at the bottom of the screen. So in this example, let's tap launch full chart view. And as you can see, when you press this, you are presented with a candlestick chart for the selected asset. Most traders choose to use the candlestick charts for analysis. However, if you prefer a different chart, you can simply change it by tapping on the chart button at the bottom. Here you can see you can change it to whatever chart you prefer, bars, line, area, and so on. I personally use candlestick charts as they give you the most information regarding price movement. Okay, so if we look in the bottom left hand corner, we can see that the asset we are currently looking at. So in this case, we are looking at the Swiss franc Japan pair. If we simply press and hold on the asset, we can scroll through the list. This is a feature which is relatively new to the iPad and iPhone app, and in my opinion, is very clean. It allows you to switch between your assets effortlessly and even looks good. Then if we move to the right hand side of the asset name, we can see the time frame. This tells us the time frame of the chart we are looking at. So at the moment we are looking at the one hour chart for the Swiss franc Japan pair. However, let's say you are a swing trader and you only look at higher time frames. You can simply tap on the time frame and change it to the time frame you prefer. So if you are a swing trader, you'll be looking at perhaps a four hour, one day, or even a week but let's keep it on a four hour another cool feature the trading view app has is that you can add the time frames you most use to your favorites and this then allows you to scroll through your time frames like the assets so the time frames i use the most are one hour four hour one day and one week so if i favor all of these time frames you can see i can now simply scroll through my favorite pairs instead of having to open up the whole window which shows me time frames which I'm not interested in. So let's do this. As you can see, simply hold and then you can add to your favorites. And as you can see at the top, we get a new section which adds to your favorites. 
and once you've done that you can see now that you can scroll through the time frames which you use the most without having to tap search for the time frame you want you can simply scroll okay so next let's look at the drawing tools a common question that I get asked is can you access the drawing tools on the TradingView app on the iPad and as you can see you can access all the drawing tools which you find on the website version of TradingView so as we can see in this window we have all the trendline tools Fibonacci geometric shapes annotations patterns and prediction and measurement tools and we can also favor the tools which we will use the most and they will appear in the favorites section at the top like so so as we can see the pairs which i used sorry the tools which i use the most are the extended trend line fib retracement and the rectangle and as you can see they're all at the favorites at the top and this is helpful as you don't want to have to look for the tools every time you analyze a chart instead you can simply go to your favorite section and just select the tools you need it's much more efficient if the tools are ready to access at the top of the list. So for me, I personally use the extended trendline tool, the fib retracement tool, and the rectangle tool, and the long and short position tool. So let's add the long position, simply hold, and you can see add to favorites. And as you can see, they're at the top now in my favorites. So one piece of advice, that I'll give you is do not use the regular trendline tool like I did when I first started trading. Reason being is that you will have to keep on extending your trendline as price moves to the right. However, with the extended trendline tool, the trendline automatically is extended into the future. And when I say this, it will save you a lot of time and will also make your analysis a lot more accurate. Then if we move to the right, we can see that we have the indicators window. Here we can add the indicators which we want to use in our trading. So in this example, let's add the Bollinger Bands indicator. Like so. And as we can see, the indicator has been added to our chart. Just as simple as that. I personally don't use many indicators as I find that they are always lagging behind, therefore aren't very helpful. And that's pretty much all I use on the app. There may be other features which are missing that you guys use. If there is, let me know in the comment section. Alright, so to give you an idea of how I use the app, let's analyse this currency pair. So the first thing I'd usually do is put my trend lines in. Let's get rid of this indicator. So, can go here, remove all indicators. So let's analyze this pair. This first thing I'll do is put my support and resistance. See one here. So we can see the extended trend line extends all the way into the future and in the past. So we can check if this is a significant trend um, resistance. And as we can see in the past, it has held there, 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 and here. So it's valid. So if we scroll back to here, now if I was to find a support line, again, do the same thing, use the extended trend line, and I would place it here, just there. And again, as it's an extended one, we can check back. So we can see here, 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 and here, and here. So this is significant too. And in terms of trend lines, is there any trend lines here? Let's go up to the four hour chart. Um, maybe I'll choose this one here. This point, like so. Look back, is it significant? What we'll touch here, touch there, here, here, and here. So, this is a significant trend line. 
So let's keep that. Another trick that you might not know of is you can clone the trend line and you can look for a channel like so. As you can see, respects there. So now we have an ascending channel. And from here, I'd simply look for any confluences or areas that I'd look to buy. And looking at this chart, I'd simply go to my long position place it at this point as we have a confluence of a trend line and a support line and I'll change it to 30 pip stop loss and 30 pip TP and then I'll simply wait for price to travel to my entry and yeah as simple as that alright guys so I hope this video helped answer some of your questions regarding the training view app on the iPad as you can see, the app has all the features which you'd need in order to carry out your technical analysis. If you did find today's video helpful, please leave a like. Alright guys, thanks for watching.